Hey everyone, my name is Siddharth and I'm a medical intern here in India at GMC Kolhapur. I'm currently preparing for the USMLE Step 1 exam but I was a NEED PG aspirant till my third year of MBBS and uh, this is my honest effort to make a plan for my fellow interns who might just need a direction to go in in the next uh, three months for NEED PG 2023. And some of you guys asked me on Instagram and some of my friends also asked me about how to go about it. So I thought I'd make a small video on this. Again, full disclaimer, I'm not preparing for NEED PG and I'm not saying that if you follow this, uh, you will get a great rank. But I think it can get you a decent uh, or a good rank. And I will also leave some uh, links in the description of some videos that can help you. Let me begin by why I think I would have a great plan for NEED PG and I began using Marrow in my uh, second year as the main resource for NEED PG and I used it all throughout uh, second and third years and even in the COVID lockdown I managed to finish these subjects right here. From all of the 19 subjects I had finished 13 subjects. And I wish I could uh, show you my Marrow account and uh, show you all the modules that I have finished. But I remember that I had studied and finished 13 of the 19 total subjects of NEED PG and uh, the MBBS syllabus before I entered my final year of MBBS. And I had also started using uh, USMLE resources like the first aid for USMLE, for biochemistry, for sketchy micro for, and pharmac and Pathoma for Pathology and so out of the remaining six subjects I had started three of them and uh, three I had not started which were Anesthesia, Dermat and Psychiatry so <laughs> therefore the meh <laughs> and I can confidently say that I would have finished it all by the end of final year of MBBS and probably even revise uh, some of the major subjects while I was studying for the theory exams like medicine, surgery, OBGY and pediatrics and this would be the ideal plan to have finished all subjects before entering internship and then in internship I would focus uh, totally on uh, revisions and question solving and giving mock tests and grant tests and finding out my weak spots and working on it all throughout the year. I was completely a Marrow user and so I know about the um, intern mode and heard a lot of people talking about it and you can finish uh, studying faster. I would recommend this mode for people who are starting their NEED PG preparation in internship and couldn't study much because of their heavy postings till now and want to try and get a decent rank. I personally have not used this mode but from what I've seen and uh, heard it covers most of the important things and you can use whichever platforms intern mode you are comfortable with. I have never used Prep Ladder or eGurukul, so I just cannot uh, comment on any of it and I can't even suggest you use them. But if you have been using any of those resources, then just keep using them. Don't change your resources in the last three months. And so the NEED PG 2023 exam is on uh, 5th March and at the date I'm filming this video is 13 December and which gives me around 82 days but I will but I will approximate it to 80 days and so use intern mode for 80 days and uh, so what I would focus on on the next 40 days is to try and completely or just selectively finish the intern mode from the above resources that you can that you use and I would do it properly and not just do light reading so that I actually retain all the information that I'm reading and if you have heavy postings it will be very difficult again but nothing has been easy till now so just try to push through it as much as you can and if you have light postings then for sure you can study around 4-5 to five hours minimum and even more if you have the capacity to do that and of course solve questions every day preferably in all subjects mode and not just a particular subject and uh, using it as a testing tool use it as a learning tool and read from the explanations of each and every question then in the next 20 days I would do another quick revision along with question solving 
again in all subjects mode and uh, learning from the questions rather than using it as a uh, tool to assess my progress and grant tests and mock tests are there to assess my situation and in the final 20 days I would keep solving questions more and more and focus mainly on questions and uh, weak topics and just trying to revise anything possible and I would just like to end this video by saying that I know that the best time for preparing for NEET PG was in the second year but the second best time is right now and if you are watching this video after 15 days just subtract the number of days from the initial total number of days left and uh, start preparing. Thank you for watching and if you like this one go ahead and subscribe for more videos and I will see you guys in the next one.